Hey guys, and welcome back to my weekly Motivation Monday. Um, thank you for coming back. I have a wonderful message for you guys today. And uh, yeah, um, so one thing that I've been doing pretty much the majority of my life is I will set these little mini goals for myself. So for instance, um, and they're not even mini goals, it's stupid like little challenges just to be, um, to motivate myself. So I'll be walking, this is as a kid, and I'll be walking and I'll say, oh, well, if you step on that crack, then you're not gonna get an A plus on the next test. And I will literally like walk on the sidewalk in a way so that I don't step on a crack so that I get an A on the test. Like, it's just like stupid little things. So when dieting or when, um, uh, pursuing your fitness goals and just trying to work towards something, it really, really helps to have those tiny little things. So for instance, if you are in the pantry and you, those chips, okay, that are in there that you maybe had on your refeed and you're like, hmm, there's still some left over. I could, I could just have a couple chips, right? A couple chips isn't going to do anything. That's when your brain should kick in and be like, hmm, you want those chips? All right, you can have two chips right now, but if you have those chips then you will get second place or third. I always say second because, um, you know, if you get second, it's like, oh my God, I was that close to my goals. So if, I mean, I always try to make sure that I don't have leftovers. I actually like throw them away. I hate wasting money, but I don't like, I don't want the temptation in my house. I'm like, get it out, get it out of here. And if it is there, I say, okay, you can have those chips. You can have a couple bites. Yeah, sure. It's not going to go, nothing's going to happen. Like you're not going to get fat or anything. You're not going to gain any fat or anything, but have some self-control. Um, if you do have those chips, you will not win. You will get second place or third or third call outs. And you know, you choose whether you want those chips or not. And I'm like, nope, I don't want those chips. Fuck those chips. I want nothing to do with those chips. I want first place. So um, to put in a life perspective, whatever your goal is, make up a little mini stupid goal <laughs> that counteracts and really just reminds yourself why you want this so bad. Even if it's just stepping on a crack on the sidewalk. I mean, it's just so silly. If you step on this crack, that means you don't really want that promotion. All right, so you walk differently just to get that promotion. It gives you self-control and it helps you realize exactly how much you want that goal and whether you don't because maybe you do say that if you step on that crack, you don't get your promotion. And then your 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 immediate reaction is, okay, I don't give a fuck. Okay, cool. Well, obviously you don't want it bad enough and obviously that's a goal that you're never going to reach because you don't want it enough. So um, that would be a good time because your brain thinks what you want to think. You don't get to correct your brain. Whereas if you're writing down something or you're responding to something, you get to um, correct what you have to say. You get to be like, oh, just kidding. Ha ha. No, your brain knows. So if you go into something and you're like, I really want to do this. And your brain's like, no, you don't. Why are you acting like you want to do this? Don't. No, you don't care. You don't care about this goal. You don't want this. It's true. It's right. Your brain is right. So listen to your brain. Listen to um, what you want and really you have to get inside your mind and decide whether you want to coach yourself to actually go towards that goal because obviously you really don't want it that bad so the idea today is have self-control and practice those mini goals for self-control even if it's little silly goals um, they really do help um, so another fitness one you can, this one's a really big one because if you're at the gym and you just feel like shit, you feel down, this is where you can really, really get into deeper potential for what you're about to do. Everyone has shitty days, everyone, okay? But the people that get through their shitty days, uh, through their workouts, really, really are the ones that excel. Those are the elite. Those are the ones who are better, okay? So for instance, I'm at the gym, I'm in a fight with my boyfriend um if I have 
I have a couple more workouts to do. I don't feel like doing it and I can easily not do it. I look fine these next two workouts. Who, who's to say I'm going to get any progress from them? You know, this is your brain like trying to talk you out of doing something like, oh, what's an extra 10 minutes of cardio? It's not like it's going to blah, blah, blah. You know, your brain like trying to tell you to stop trying to talk you into not doing it. And if you're like me, you're good at talking yourself out of things, in and out of things. Just like, hey, you don't need to do this. You look fine. No, that's when you cut in, you cut in and you say, you know what? No, absolutely not. Because I don't want to do it, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it freaking twice, three times, four times. You know, I, instead of 10 minutes, I'm going to do 20 minutes just to prove to myself that I'm not weak and I can do this. So mini goals, okay? Whenever I'm at the gym and my brain says, I, I'm done. This is it. I, I don't want to do it anymore. I'm like, no, you're not. Let's go. My body's moving. We're going to the next set. Um, if you're going heavy, it's supposed to be your heavy lifting day and you just feel like shit. You're not getting that weight up. You're not making it. Get inside your head. There's something negative there that's keeping you from doing it because you can physically do it. Your brain is keeping you from doing it. You've lifted this weight before you know it. And you just need to get within yourself and tell yourself, hey, let's go. We are picking this up right now. It's happening. Three, two, one one and you lift it and how do you feel after that shitty doubtful you feel like you conquered the world i mean it was everything you you almost gave up you almost walked away you almost left that gym you almost did but you didn't because you knew that you can do this you knew you could do it the whole freaking time you knew it but your brain was trying to get in the way and you don't want that so have better self-control and make mini goals that's the word for today, I just did like an hour of cardio. I'm so dead and I'm about to eat. Uh, thank you guys for watching this. Next time you're out and about and your brain wants to tell you to give up and stop, smack it right in the face. <laughs> Figuratively, smack it in the face and be like, shut up. I'm about to do this. I'm about to kill this because I have goals and I need to reach them. And yes. So, yeah, that's what I do. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you uh, next Monday, which is peak week. Oh, my God. Maybe I'll do something like peak week. Like. <laughs> anyway, thanks for subscribing or thanks for thanks for watching. If you like it, subscribe. And if you want to see my fitness journey, um, physique updates, diets, all that wonderful stuff, check out the stuff down there. Thank you.